after completing the mini quest Mogri to help Skippy sober up, you will get access to killing more. They are level 54 and have 1950 HP. These can be found at the Mudskipper Point. The Mudskipper Point is south of Port Serum, Lodestone N. You can use the fairy ring. A I Q. To be able to use the explode, you will need to teleport to any Slayer Master. I prefer Canifus as he is right by the lodestone. The same thing will be Birdthorb, and for a little further will be Edgeville. Right click and trade the Slayer Master. The fishing explosives are the ones you're able to just generally buy. The explosive shaker can be put on your tool belt. Now if you have completed the quest Kenneth's Concerns, you will have the super explosive flask. Simply buy one. It will be for 50k. Once you have the shaker, right click it and check. The, the explosive shaker when you buy that you are able to add it to your tool belt for whatever reason the super explosive flask cannot be put on it once it's in your tool belt it teleports a port serum lodestone now for the gear requirements and the skills you will need 32 slayer to kill them you will need any commissar really as they are level 54 I myself use a elemental battle staff it's a level 30 weapon and it provides unlimited elemental runes of any type and then for like an amulet or a necklace you can bring whichever you want you could bring a god book if you want maybe silverhawk boots or is up to you from the lodestone, run south and you will be at the mud skipper point. Since the shakers are in your tool belt, you will now see a broken fishing rod. Stand two tiles east of it and then click explode anonymous fishing spot. The morgue will now die. Well, he'll spawn and you will not kill him. If you have a legendary pet, you can summon him with the forge ability active. And he will pick up all the possible drops. Only one at a time. Now, the reason why you will want to be killing the morgues is for the mud skipper hat. The flippers and possibly the crunchy claw token for this pet that you see is following me the baby crab some other loot they drop is a lot of herb seeds but it's only one of each pretty much they do drop raw fish which include herring sardine Tuna Noted and unnoted raw swordfish And for some of you Ironman people they do drop raw sharks I seem to get a raw shark about every one out of 100 killed it's not too rare at the same time, but it is worth it if you do not want to get the fishing level requirement. Killing these are pretty easy, but it can get repetitive. 
However, this is the only way to get the Mudskipper hat and the flippers. Just keep repeating forever until you have the drops that you have wanted. be back in a couple of hours to tell you about the loot that I was able to get. After about two hours, I was able to kill 300 morgues, and this is the loot. Now, for the fish bowls, I have four the flippers I have five the mud skipper hat I have ten of them and the crunchy claw token I have 17 of them the mud skipper hat seems to be twice as common as the flippers I got a long bone which is a 1 out of 400 drop rate a staff of air 48 seaweed 5 oysters, 27 fishing explosive, 355 water runes, 29 raw sardines, 14 herrings, 47 fishing bait, I mean 75 fishing bait, 17 logs, 3 raw sharks, 42 raw tuna, 115 raw swordfish. I did get some other loot like potato seeds, cabbage seeds, limpart seeds, some onions. I got two Raynar seeds, two spirit weed seeds, four strawberries, one white berry, one Ivan toe. One toad flax, one bitter cup mushroom spore, one watermelon seed, two Harlander seeds, four sweet corn seeds. Now the big bones, I did not pick those up because I would have needed to bank a lot more. The total loot is about. 90k but most of the items will not sell for the price for instance the herring say it's 428 I was not able to sell them for 50 coins the same thing goes with the seaweed and the raw sardine now for the crunchy claw token you can use these to get a baby crab to follow you and to put in your house. You will need to go to Port Hazard and you will need the diving apparatus and the fishbowl helmet. Keep in mind that your weight has to be under 27 kilograms. to Port Hazard. You can do so by teleporting to Yanil Lodestone, running through the city and then run north. You can teleport here with the Arduin Monastery teleport or you could use the Spirit Tree or the nearby fairy rings. If you do not have the breathing, the diving apparatus, or the fishbowl, just simply speak to Murphy, go diving, and he will notice you do not have either of the two items, and he will give them to you. Hit option one to yes, let's go diving.
you will now be underwater. Run north or swim north. You will see morgue guards. One of them will have a name and it will be Nuang. Speak to him. You will notice that you have a ticket. And he will say, well, he'll just give you it. Now, there's two things you do. You can either teleport using the lodestone, or you can just run back to the anchor and go up. Click on the anchor. be on the surface once again. You will notice there is a baby giant crab in your inventory. There is five different types of crabs. You can right click drop it and it will be on the floor following you very very slowly. Thank you all for watching and Hope you enjoyed, and enjoy.